in Europe. We are facing the worst energy crisis in at least 50 years. The German government is vowing rapid cash assistance for small and mid-sized companies facing massive energy bills this winter. They've been pressuring Berlin for help. Currently in August, German inflation was at 8%. I think this winter we will see the German economy slipping into recession. This is inevitable. With the Russian invasion of Ukraine, economies all over the world have taken a big hit. From as low as 2% inflation to massive 800% inflation, many countries are dealing with the situation in different ways. Germany is no exception, but the situation is not that bad. According to a recent report from the IFO, Germany is going to have a mild recession and not as bad as like the news outlets are reporting. Don't worry, this video is not about boring graphs and reports. Even with the recession looming around the corner and companies laying off employees, not just in Germany, but everywhere in the world, there are quite a few sectors in Germany which have massive job vacancies. And that's what we are discussing today. All the high demand jobs in Germany and the ease in immigration policies throughout 2022. Let's start. But first, Aap chronology First, you need to understand why there is a labor shortage in Germany. Germany needs about 400,000 skilled workers and almost 7 million of them by the year 2035. This happens because Germany has an aging population and they lose about 350,000 working age people every year as the baby boomer population goes into retirement. If you take a look at this graph, Germany has more old people than young ones and thus when the grandpas and grandmas go into retirement, there are fewer younger ones who can fill in those gaps. And thus they are trying to bring in more reforms and laws to encourage foreign nationals not just from Europe but even outside Europe to come to Germany and work there. So what are those laws and reforms? The first one of course is the Chancellor card or the Opportunity card in German which was introduced earlier this year by the German government. This card allows foreign nationals to come and work in Germany without a job offer as long as they fulfill 3 out of 4 eligibility criteria. First, a university degree or a professional qualification. Second, professional experience of at least 3 years. Third, language skills or previous residence in Germany. Fourth, age and all 35. It will be a point-based system and all these criteria will be weighted equally but the number of cards issued per year will be limited and the amount will depend on the requirement of the labour market. Detailed information is yet to be released on this card but you can expect some more information from the government on the duration of the visa, minimum salary requirements, eligibility criteria in the coming months. Looking at the entire timeline, you can expect all these changes to be publicly available by 2023. We will create a modern citizenship law. To this end, we'll make multiple citizenship possible and simplify the path to acquiring German citizenship. The German government wants to ease citizenship rules to a shorter wait time and introduce dual citizenship so that foreign nationals don't have to renounce their previous ones. Under the new proposed rules, naturalization will be possible in 5 years instead of 8 currently and even as little as 3 years if the person has integrated well in the German society, like showing special academic or professional achievements or if they have really good language skills. Additionally, children born in Germany automatically become citizens if one of their immigrant parents have been legally living in Germany for the past five years. So let's say if you're coming to Germany for your master's, by the time you graduate, all these changes would have taken place already. Recently, Annalena Baerbock, the Minister for Foreign Affairs of Germany, visited India and signed the Comprehensive Migration and Mobility Partnership with the Indian government. We covered this in a recent reel, but the main highlights of the agreement are 18 months of extended residence permits for Indian students and 3,000 job seekers visa annually. This deal is set to encourage increased number of students between the two countries for higher education. Whew. Okay, so three major milestones this year where Germany is actively trying to bring in more qualified workers in their country to fill in the gaps in their workforce. But what exactly are the high demand jobs? Just last month, the Institute for Labor Market and Occupational Research, IAB, reported a record number of job vacancies in Germany, around 1.93 million, mainly in three major fields. First, healthcare. As we discussed, Germany has a boomer population. Mainly, they also have an amazing healthcare system in place by the government to take care of the old ones once they retire. But because of the sheer large number of the boomer population, the healthcare sector is always understaffed. 
not just in terms of doctors but also in terms of nurses or caregivers the average salary for doctors with experience in germany is around 61000 euros to 71000 euros and the average salary for nurses is around 30 to 40000 euros per year all the salary numbers which are being spoken in the video take them with a grain of salt because they depend on a lot of factors like your profile the location the project or the company you are applying to so yeah do your research Second, modern day technologies. Being Europe's largest economy and home to some of the largest companies in the world, Germany is always in search of some qualified workers in modern day technologies like artificial intelligence, data science, machine learning, cybersecurity, software development and many more. Whether it's a big automotive company like Volkswagen or retail giants like Aldi, these skills are in high demand for developing the technology behind new and innovative business practices. Cities like Berlin, Munich, Hamburg and others also have up and coming startups which provide additional jobs in these fields so if you have the skills these positions require you will have no trouble finding work in some of the most demanded jobs in germany the average salary for an it engineer or a software developer in germany ranges around 50 to 70000 euros depending on your project and experience third construction and development Before 2022, because of the low interest rates, there was a huge demand in housing, and that created a number of jobs for trained civil engineers and architects. Germany has always tried to hire more people in this field, but there is still a shortage which needs to be filled. The construction industry in Germany is among the best paid and highly regarded. Depending on your location and project, the salaries will vary, but you can expect the average salary of a civil engineer to be around 45 to 50 to 60000 euros It doesn't mean that jobs in electronics mechanical or even accounting and analytics are not in demand companies may be laying off employees but there are hundreds of projects which are pending and they need workers who can meet the deadlines before they pass away fields like renewable energy are also seeing a big growth because european countries want to cut down their carbon emissions by 45% before 2030 and zero by 2050 with the energy crisis looming because of the ukraine russia conflict the german government is also trying to find alternative methods to tackle the ongoing problem thus great job opportunities there are a lot of companies who are trying to hire even at the time of recessions you just need to do your research well and stand out there are thousands of people who are going to apply to the same job so you need to make your profile better so that you are the chosen one finally two things which you should keep in mind because they are important first is language learning german language is extremely important and it will set you apart from other candidates a lot of people don't focus on learning german because they think that their job profile is in english but in most cases this can be a deal breaker second work ethic Germans are very punctual and straight to the point. They have a very strict work ethic and they expect the same from you. Time management, adapting to new situations, your behavior not just with your bosses but also with your peers. This is something they actively look for in a candidate and if you are the golden person, you are hired. Yay! LinkedIn, Zing, Stepstone, Monster, Indeed, there are many other websites which you can use to start finding your jobs in Germany. If you want a job in one particular company, then the careers tab on the company's website can also be a big gold mine. All the best to you if you are applying for jobs in Germany or universities in Germany and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video.